Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Rengar in the Jungle, we're running First Strike Boots, Futures Market, Cosmic Insights, Sun Impact, and Relentless Hunter. We're going to play some Rengar Lethality, and we're going to camp one lane, one person, maybe bot lane, because they're probably the easiest to kill. And Rengar ult's pretty deadly, because I can just go invisible, run at them, and jump on them, and delete squishies. So yeah, I'd like to camp top because they're on an island, but Aatrox is somewhat difficult to kill. And Ari, once she's level 6, she's going to dash away, so I don't think I can get her. Too lazy to walk over there. Don't judge me. Yeah, Rengar's actually pretty fun to play. Does a lot of damage. His clear's not too bad either. As long as you have your W and you have both stacks for it, you can clear the multi-camps pretty easy, and you don't lose too much health. Because your W does a lot of damage to jungle monsters. Who died? Okay, Misfortune already died again. Oh, but she got a double kill. I mean, even with a Yumi on her... I think I still might be able to, like, dive and kill her when I'm fed, so I think we're going for her. Unless I can, like, consistently kill Aatrox. Diego Jungle. I don't know if I beat him in 1v1s early. Because he's pretty good at dueling, and he's pretty good at taking my blue buff. I'm going top. Probably walked over the ward, but... I don't know where he thought he was going. The last place you want to run away to against a Rengar is in a bush. If he would have flashed up this way, I probably would have had to flash for him and maybe have not even gotten him. Okay, I just need Viego not to kill me while I'm doing this crab. Oh, there he is. I can come mid. If he baits this, we could fight. Go, go, go. All right, you distract him while I do the crap, buddy. Well, he had red. He took my blue. That means he's probably going to do his blue. I mean, I'll just base. I'm not going to fight him in his jungle. Okay, we're going to do Duskblade into Prowlers. Big damage. Big burst. I do have to kill everybody on their team at least once, though, for my Bone Tooth passive. Extra AD I get. Top may be campable. It's just, I feel like even when Aatrox is behind, he's actually kind of hard to kill. I should have smited it. I have two charges. A watch bot, maybe counter gank, but I don't know if he's going down there. Whose head shall I take? Grab some XP. It's really easy to gank when I'm level six. Pre six, it's kind of hard to gank unless they're near a bush. Even though he took my blue, I might still have more CS than him. I think I'm clearing better. Also, he didn't get a kill. Can I jump on this thing from here? I think I can pull it this way. Ooh. 
Ooh, he's level six. The thing is, Aatrox might kill me at that health. Walk the killer's path. We can try, but I think if I don't get the bush jump on him, I'm not going to kill him. I think he saw me, too. So we get some XP. There is the hunter and the hunted. I'm almost six. I could go around, but I have a feeling Viego is going to be up here. Oh, I think we're going to get him. Oh, a shutdown. Ari's missing. There she is. Oh, Viego's bot. That means I can take his red, but he might take my red if he is full HP. I mean, Misfortune has a shutdown, too. I have some good options this game. I think my red's gone. Let's just buy a bunch of swords since we have free boots. Nope, it's there. Nice. He's got 40 CS. I got 47. He still doesn't have a kill. It's just if I gank bot here, I'm losing my blue. But I mean, I think I'm okay with that. Oh, here he is. Wait a second. I will destroy him. If only I didn't just waste everything on blue. Oh, he wants this. Alright. I mean, you got my blue buff because I wasn't even there. And you got my chickens. But you ain't getting my red buff. That's mine. Well, I'm down here and not really gankable. Let's just go top again. Top lane's fun. Well, I have to go in debt because I wasted my money buying this extra sword. But it's okay. Because why take the debt rune if you're not going to go in debt? When do I get my boots? 9.45. Ooh, 45 seconds. So I can alt top coming in 30 seconds. I want to clear my top first. If EA goes up here, I think we'll win 2v2. Never rest. I'm pretty decent at my Rengar rotations on his spells. I just need more not to ult him. Diego did Herald. So Diego's around. Nice. I'm fed early, which is really good on Rengar, because then you can just delete people. Mid. If he comes to the bush up here. Oh my god, he's just killing Diego. Oh my god, Yasuo. Come to the bush. Oh my god, I popped out of the bush. Got her. That was easy. Was she out of dashes? I was like, really thinking she was going to flash there. Okay. Well, what's better, boots or lethality? I kind of want the lethality, but cooldown boots? Actually, I'm going to go cooldown boots because I still have flash up. You know what? We're going in debt. I don't even know if it's worth it to go in debt for a sword, but I have first strike, so I'll make the money back. Well, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Oh, no, 
don't even know if I can. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, MF. If only they waited when I pinged my ult about 20 times that it wasn't up yet. At least Yasuo is good. I mean, if I kill him, I can die. It's worth it. Oh. I wish I would have gotten an assist on that Yumi and MF. That would really help my Relentless stacks, but we can get him later. Yasuo is really strong. All he has is a static shiv. Oh, he's got a BF sword. Yasuo just like 1v3'd, but I went in and I almost got one shot. That's crazy. What was that damage? We could do this. I kind of want to do it just so they don't get the dragons, because it's going to be hard for me to do the dragons when they're alive. I have nothing to get out, though, so if they collapse on me... I don't have smite either. Okay, guys, we got to keep hitting it. Oh, my God, did he just walk by? Did he not see us? He can fight. YOLO. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, she got me. She might die, though. Do I get an assist? Oh, she's not gonna. That MF just does so much stinking damage. Lethality, more swords. Well, we have a fed Yasuo. I think we just camp uh, Aatrox. It's so hard to kill this MF. She just, like, is doing more damage than me with half of my items. But I do need to go down and get her later. I'm staying away from bot lane. Okay, Viego's dead. I think his red's up. I could go straight to his red. How about I go... I do my red and then I go straight to his. But I really want to clear chickens. I don't think I have time though. Seek only the strongest. Please don't check up here, Ari. I'm pretty sure I can 1v1 Viego. He's 1 in 5, I'm 7 in 1. If he can 1v1 me, then champion's balanced. Oh, here he comes. Here are the jungle camp. I mean, if Aatrox comes up here, we kill him. There's three of us. I don't know if I can solo kill him. Even though he has zero armor, I feel like he's gonna pop his R and just kill me. Come on, show by the turret. He, I might be on a ward. Your team has destroyed a turret. Beautiful. Well, at least he didn't go armor boots because he's against a Mordekaiser. If he had armor boots, it'd be hard to kill him. I kind of want to wait here and try and kill him since he doesn't have ult, but he's not going to be back for 20 seconds. And he might just TP, so let's go try and get balling. The Crawler's Claw seems nice in Rengar. I could clear top and maybe go uh, op again. Clear blue. I don't know. The Yumi shield's kind of big. Maybe I get anti-shield item. I actually really like playing Rengar. I still don't know how to triple Q, or if you can even still do that.
Well, I'd like to save my ult till 11, but I don't think we have time for that. Unless he face checks to push. I think he warded it, though. See, I can just save my W's to just heal the full. Bro's not worth any money anymore. That's a good sign. Oh, he's going Death's Dance, though. I might need anti-heal, because last thing I want is Aatrox to just out heal the damage he takes. But the good news is that sand's kind of expensive and uh, he's not going to be making much money unless we die. Okay, we lost... Oh, we didn't lose bot turret. We lost mid turret. You can buy more lethality. What dragon? Ooh, fire. I think we gotta go for that. I mean... Walk the killer's path. I think I can kill him. If he positions by this bush... Bye-bye. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. He... He's just stronger than me. How did he know I was there? Oh, I gotta go base. Alright, what are we doing next? Collector? Collector it is. Well, he's gonna smite steal it or MF's all... Oh my... Okay, good. Triple Qs just have full stacks and press Q before jumping. Oh, okay. I don't like doing that, though, because I like jumping, get the auto, and then use Q to auto reset, but... Probably better to do it the other way. I don't know. Oh! Where the hell did she go? Did I get the assist? I did. Yeah, I don't think I can 1v1 Aatrox unless I buy some heal reduction. He just, like, it's such a hard champion to kill. Catch their trail. But when Mordekaiser is hitting him and eats all his spells, I destroy him. Where do I even use this? I'm coming. Oh, I'm out there. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing so much damage now. Might just be GG. I have 14 kills. I didn't think I was doing that good. Oh, current's dead. All right. It's crazy how the Aatrox is so easy, but so hard to kill at times. Please, please. Where are you so far? Oh! Oh! I know what it's like to be on the other end of a Rengar gank now. I'm a liver. 
Oh, I'm almost a deader. Keep going, Yasuo. Ah, uh, he's gonna haunt me. I feel like he's just gonna beat them. Collector. What next? They go LDR. I'm down to do that, actually. He has a lot of armor. What's the crit? Doesn't crit make Rengar Q do a lot more? Ah. Uh, I don't think Yasuo is going down, lads. Oh, he is. Darn, that's GG. I want to get more kills, but that was fun. Alright, GG. I think I'm going to add an ARAM onto this one. This is a little tough to get another good Rengar game like that, but I think that was decent. We got a lot of action for that short time. So stay tuned if you want to watch the ARAM. Alright, welcome to the ARAM. Y'all are in for a treat. Hecram is one of my strong favorite picks on this, because once we get like two or three items, I turn into a helicopter and the enemy team gets decimated. If I can get some early kills, we're looking good. Let's see. Their team... If their team makes it to late game, they win with all this scaling, but... Wait, where am I? I see two horses. I just need to charge up my Q, basically. If I have full stacks of Q, I can unleash so much damage on a whole team. Yeah, Vayne, Kale, and Cassidy should be pretty weak early. I think my only threat's going to be that Trundle. Already dead. I got hit by four people and not one of my teammates trying to help. Good thing I didn't waste my spells and go in though. Oh, I'm the only front line. So this might be rough because I'm gonna have to go in and die just for any of them to even fight. Also, their whole team is ranged. Man, if I didn't get stunned for three seconds straight, that was a penta. So close. I was going to flash Q, get double kill there. I got stunned for three whole seconds somehow. All right, let's do boots, because I got to get in range of them. Haste is really good on this map for Hecarim. Let's see, do I go man immune first, or do I go... Oh no, I, I like to go Shoujin first, I think I was always going. So we'll grab a Shoujin. Shoujin, man immune. Oh, they're so low. Oh, so close to getting Trundle too. But I got three kills there, that's so good. That means we can get a BF sword. Once I get Shoujin, I have a ton of haste. We'll wait for the 100 gold. I mean, at least I have a lot of poke on my team. Ziggs and Mal's and Nico. Nico could possibly engage for us if she knows what she's doing. If I can queue a minion wave, though, and stack up my Q charges, then I can hurt. And I'll have my ult at level 6 to dash in, but then they're gonna have Kale ults and stuff. Nice. Almost could have got a Penta there, too. We definitely have a chance for a Penta. Because I only get stronger. Let's see, do 
we get the 8D? I kind of like the health. But, I mean, I have 8 kills already in 4 minutes. That's pretty good on Hecarim. What's Trundle building? Oh, Trundle's going full tank. Perfect. Alright. We got Annie at least. Unfortunately, she took barrier on Annie. Otherwise, I would have killed her. But if they're going to chunk half of my health, I may as well just go all in. Because there's no way I can engage later with no health left. So you max Q and then you max W. And once I have W maxed, I get a lot of, uh, I get a ton of healing from the damage I deal. And then also I get armor and magic resist. Ooh, if he got rooted there, I would have went in. I mean, I'm still going in. See, the, the helicopter. I think I already just healed a lot, or my teammates healed me. I really don't know what just happened there. Almost. I was hoping she'd kite towards the health pack so I could get that too. Alright. Chojin. Let's see. Q cooldown 2.76. 2.31. And then, I mean, upgrading this is usually what I do. We could also do, like, a cleaver. That would give a lot of haste, health, and damage. I think getting this item out of the way, since the tier's about stacked. Yeah, I mean, I heal for... Do I get extra healing? I get 20% extra healing, and I heal for 28% of the damage though. Okay, that's kind of busted. Damage taken from his out. Wait, I heal from my teammates doing damage too? I didn't know that. I thought it was just Hecarim's damage. Right. I'll go in, but I need to charge up Q. Because it takes too long to charge up the Q on the enemies. While you're fighting, because I'll die by the time it's up. Well, they kind of all went in different directions there, didn't they? <laughs> I'm a helicopter. I mean, their comp's actually pretty bad because they're just too much scaling. Must keep spinning. Alright, my damage just got up because this is going to upgrade in a second. I doubt they'll buy anti heal for me. Kale actually does a bit of damage. Dana's quick blades. Okay, we're going to do. We can either do Death Stance next or Cleaver. Let's see, do they have armor? They have a little bit of armor. What else is there? Oh, I could do Grudge to slow them also. I think Cleaver's actually best. Because Cleaver gives me move speed, and Hecarim converts move speed into damage. I'll do Cleaver, then Death Stance. Because I'd like a little more HP. Q's charged up. I think Annie's in the bush right here. Helicopter horse. Wee. Wee. I didn't even take any damage that whole time. It was just a turret. <laughs> I just healed it all back. Do you charge up Q? You go in, you spam Q. They all die. in the game already. Another thing is make sure you use your Q a few times while you're in your E. Like, don't just run at him, hit him with the E right away because you're getting extra damage while you're going faster too. So hitting Qs are going to do increased damage while you're charging with E. And then you can position on top of them easier too.
Oh yeah, I don't even have a mythic. I forgot, I like to go jack shows third. If I build a jack shows, then I'm like virtually unkillable. I could do jack shows after this and then go death stance. Damn it, my pent up. Look at how much those Qs do. I just killed Annie from like full HP and two Qs. <laughs> you can't do nothing versus Hecarim. I'm healing. Oh, so close. If I got one more Q off, I would have lived because I had Triumph. Yeah, I don't have enough for the Jack shows. I may as well just build more, more damage items. I'm taking all magic damage anyway. I actually think the health might be best here because I get resistances built in from this. I mean, I'm getting um, 30, 31% healing basically. And 25 armor and 25 MR. I think it's too early for them to even F up. I could try and 1v5 Penta here. Trundle's low and he's usually the hardest one to kill. The Annie stun into Kale ult though might be the downfall of me. And I don't have Ghost up. I'm a horse. Oh, two of them went that way and died. I could have definitely got them. All right, GG. That was a quick A ram. 25 kills in 11 minutes. I kind of ran them over. That's what the horse do. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like before you go. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. Also, check out my website, swag.gg. I got a bunch of keyboards on there. I just put 30 of them up last night. So there's a ton of stuff if you want to go look. Got signed mouse pads. I'm going to be adding more stuff too. So periodically check up on my website. See if you like anything. Um, I guess Nico. We did. 34k damage in 11 minutes. Here's rune stats. I'll see y'all later. Have a great day. Peace.